Hello Universe. Welcome to my world. We're still doing Angelina Jordan and today she is dealing with one of the most iconic famous artists of the 20th century. She has no hesitation paying tribute and singing the songs of the greats of the 20th century like Billie Holiday or Frank Sinatra or Elvis Presley. And today she is meeting Mr. James Brown, the godfather of soul. Now, James Brown was born in 1931 in a log cabin in South Carolina. And to say that he was born in, into poverty would be an understatement. It was a depression, but even by depression standards, it was really, really hard. He had very humble beginnings. This is a photo of him eight years old. And he, like many, many other artists of that era, started his career at the Apollo Theater, 125th Street in Harlem, New York. Uh, the Apollo Theater saw the beginnings of Aretha Franklin and Ray Charles and many, many of the other greats, Sammy Davis Jr. James Brown himself started his debut in 1956 in, at the Apollo Theater, and he did Please, Please, Please. We'll be hearing that song in a second, but from 1956, within 15 years, from the beginning of his career, he was shaking hands with the President of the United States. And if you refer to the title of one of James Brown's famous songs, this is... James Brown, in this performance, he shows what a great showman he is. He shows his extreme talent, and you can see for raw entertainment, there's absolutely nothing like James Brown. Let's have a look. <laughs> Same song, a little further on, he does one of the most dramatic and theatrical things which is possible on stage. And the man who helps him on with his cape, his name is Danny Ray, he throughout history in the music industry is known as the Cape Man. And in later interviews, he describes how James Brown saw in the boxing ring the trainer come out and put the cape over the boxer. And he really liked that. And this was of having the cape put on his shoulders. But James Brown could not only sing, he could dance up a storm. And in many people, he was as famous for his dancing as he was for singing. And he also happened to be the inspiration for the dance moves for uh, artists in the future, like Prince, who could dance up a storm. And let us, let us not forget Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson did the moonwalk, and Michael Jackson had no hesitation in giving... James Brown, a lot of credit for his dancing moves. He's amazing with his dance moves. It looks like he's on roller skates on ice, but in total control. There was a time, oh, I used to pray. Angelina Jordan comes along and she decides to sing James Brown songs as well. You could say that Angelina Jordan, age nine, cannot be compared to James Brown. We're not doing a comparison. We're just showing that she pays tribute and she loves singing and she honors the great artist. Here she is, Angelina Jordan, age nine, singing 
I feel good. Not only can she remember the words, not only can she put soul into it, but also at the same time, she can wave to her friends in the audience. Now that is talent, isn't it? James Brown, same song, same passage, and you can see why he is incredibly famous, and he has such a distinctive style. Oh, I feel good. I knew that I would not. One of a kind. Next, Angelina Jordan is singing It's a Man's World. I've gone for the best audio, but I will pair it with a concert performance. It may be out of sync, but I'm going for the two best options. Let's see what it looks like. James Brown is doing the same passage in this performance at the end of his career. This is a man's world. This is a man's world. And... But it wouldn't be nothing, nothing, nothing without a woman or a girl. Take us over the road. Man made the train. Yeah, 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 yeah. Care the heavy load. Man made the light to light. Take us out of the dark. And man made the boat of the water. Like my Bible said, Noah made the ark. No. In the same performance, we have James Brown doing a duet with Pavarotti. It shows you how James Brown reached the pinnacle of music across many genres and how even the great Pavarotti honored James Brown with a duet. Or maybe it's James Brown honoring Pavarotti with a duet. Depends on your view. He's lost!
James Brown had a massive contribution to the whole soul movement of music in the 20th century. Angelina Jordan comes along, totally fearless, just loves to sing, and she gives a wonderful, wonderful performance, as she does with every other artist. Okay, gang, we're still running and running with Angelina Jordan. No stopping us. We'll catch you later. Bye.